Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm trying out a brand new set of watercolor paints. These are the Daniel Smith Jean Haynes Master Artist Set. I've been wanting to try these artist sets for a while and I do have already a lot of Daniel Smith colors. So what I was most attracted to with this particular set was that most of these colors are brand new to me. I don't actually have them. The only colors I already do have are Moon Glow and Undersea Green. The rest are completely new. The nice thing about these little sets is that they come in five milliliter tubes. So the website even says this, it's a great way to try out new colors to add to your palette so that you don't have to fully invest in a 15 milliliter tube. And some of these colors like the Nickel Azo Yellow and the Imperial Purple are not actually sold in five milliliter tubes. This is really the only way to sample those in a smaller size. So what we're going to do today is swatch these colors, check them out, and I'm actually going to do something else that I've never done before, and that is to take the tube paint and put them inside of an empty pan set. So I just purchased this on Amazon. I thought it was super cute with the paint spatters across the top, and these are full pans. So hopefully we have enough paint in those five milliliter tubes to fill the whole pans. We'll have to see. Since this selection of colors doesn't actually have any pure primaries, like a pure yellow or a pure blue or a pure red, I thought that when I fill my case over here, I would supplement it with a couple of pure primaries from my Daniel Smith collection. I think the quinacridone magenta and the opera paint will be sufficient for a primary red, for at least for this set, but I really would like to see a pure blue. So I'm going to supplement with a cobalt blue and add that to my tin. And then I'm gonna add a cool yellow. This is Hansa Yellow Light, since the two yellows in the set are quite warm. So after we've swatched all the colors and tried them out, we will test their transparency by painting them over the top of a Sharpie line. We'll just see what they look like. I fully expect knowing Daniel Smith and just how amazing of a brand it is that they're gonna be gorgeous colors. So I'm really excited to try these. And then I'll go ahead and do a painting using these colors. That's where we're headed. Let's get into it. So I want to arrange these in order that I'm going to put them on my swatch chart. It's a little bit strange. I'm starting with green. Normally you would start with your yellows, I think, but I don't think there's a right or wrong way to do this. So this is just the way I'm going to arrange them. So I've taken all the pans out of my metal tin and I'm going to fill them before popping them back into the tin. And I also have toothpicks on hand so I can smooth the paint out and make sure it's a nice even flow inside of each pan. Things might get messy so make sure you have paper towel. I'm just going to start with my little primaries right here first. These are my additional colors that I'm adding to my pan set. It does look like an entire five milliliter tube will fill the whole pan. You might have just a little extra in your tube, but expect to use the whole thing up. Using the toothpick can really help spread out the paint so that it's nice and even inside of the pan. You wanna make sure that it's distributed even in the corners of your pan, otherwise it might pop out easily. I did notice that among these colors, some of them spread out better in the pans than others. For example, the opera pink and the lunar blue seem to be a little bit more liquid, so they just spread out effortlessly. Some of the others I really had to kind of push and pull the paint around to make it spread evenly through the pans. But there we go, there's all 14 colors. I went ahead and added a cobalt teal blue and a tiger's eye as additional colors since I had 14 spaces and only 10 of my Jean Haynes colors. Now we begin the swatching process. This cascade green is already so impressive. It's this gorgeous, cool green that has kind of a turquoise look to it. It's granulating, absolutely beautiful, perfectly transparent. The green Appetite Genuine, also a gorgeous green. The undersea greens, just a little murkier. And what I love about all these Jean Haynes colors is that they are really fun colors. None of them are boring. They're vibrant, exciting. And I honestly could not wait to try them, especially after swatching each one. The Opera Pink is almost fluorescent. It just almost blinds you with how pink it is. I absolutely love it. The quinacridone magenta and the imperial purple are going to be gorgeous colors for florals or things like that. Moon glow, of course, is a tri-pigment color, which has some really exciting effects. And the lunar blue, also just beautiful. So there they are, all 10 colors, beautifully swatched from dark to light. All of them are transparent and all of them are super exciting. 
So after swatching the colors, I went ahead and chose a reference photo. This is a salad image. I love that it's just all the colors of the rainbow. That's pretty much why I chose it. I used transfer paper to get the drawing on my paper. The first thing I wanted to paint was the red peppers up in the corner. Now I tried at first using the quinacridone magenta with a little of the Aussie red gold and it does actually create quite a nice red, a nice warm red. It's pretty much like combining an orange and a dark pink. And to my surprise, without a primary red in the set, I was able to come really close to a primary by mixing those colors. For the cucumbers, I had plenty of greens to choose from, so there was definitely no trouble picking out greens for the spinach and the cucumbers and any of these greens in the salad. Now to create a dark, I mixed my imperial purple with the cascade green, and it actually produced almost a perfect black. This cascade green, which is that cool sort of bluish green, was beautiful for the spinach leaves. And the nickel azo yellow was perfect, just all on its own for these yellow tomatoes. If I needed more of a warm green, the Green Appetite Genuine was perfect for that. And I used my combination of either Moonglow or the Imperial Purple worked fine to mix with the green and create this nice dark color for these dark segments in between the cut up tomato. For these juicy cherry tomatoes, the opera pink was a perfect color when mixed with a little of the Aussie red gold. Super vibrant, absolutely scrumptious, and dropping in that nickel azo yellow produced a perfect orange. For the carrots, I used the nickel azo yellow for a base layer and then just added a mix of the opera pink with it over the top, just gradually layering wet and dry. Lots of glazing for this particular painting. To go darker, I could mix my quinacridone magenta with the Aussie red gold and it produced this gorgeous red for the shadow tones between those cut carrots. For this pinkish purple, I used a combination of imperial purple with the opera pink and the lunar blue was actually such a perfect color for the look of metal on this fork. It has this almost metallic look to itself as a paint so it was just so perfect. I couldn't have asked for a better color. I made sure to leave those bright shiny highlights on the fork so that it looked like it was brilliant metallic. For those curved shadow tones in the fork, I used a mixture of the moon glow with my lunar blue. I worked my way across this painting one section at a time, constantly referring to my reference photo, but I was absolutely delighted with all of these colors. I never felt like I was missing anything, and I never had to dip into any of those additional primaries that I added. It just wasn't necessary. This really actually surprised me because I thought I would need maybe a primary blue or at least a cool yellow, but it turned out that this set had everything I needed for this painting, which was such a surprise and a delight to discover. I was able to quickly and easily adjust how warm or cool all of my color temperatures are within the greens and the reds, just depending on how much yellow or orange I added in. And this variety of greens was so perfect for a salad painting. The only green I really didn't use very much was the undersea green. I found that that one was almost an extra that wasn't really necessary, but I used the cascade green and the green appetite genuine all the time. If you feel like this video is just moving too fast and you'd love to see this salad tutorial step-by-step -step fully narrated, it is available through my Watercolor Mastery membership. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check that out. It does include a traceable line drawing, the reference photo, and a complete list of supplies. Well, this was such a fun experiment, testing out this Daniel Smith, Gene Haynes Master Artist set. I absolutely love these colors. Something I appreciate about most of these colors is that they're beautifully granulating. They're all so transparent and I couldn't believe I could actually mix something close to a primary red. Didn't even think that was possible. This set was just such a joy to work with. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to test out and review any more of these master sets. I'd be happy to oblige. Thanks so much for watching today. Check out this next video and I'll see you guys there.